Today I'm going to show you how to upload and present media in trial line. Now the trial line I'm working on today is a little different. The purpose of this is going to be to put it in an article about the Taylor Swift assault case that she recently won. Uh, she countersued for a dollar and won that one dollar. If you want to know more about the case, you can check out this trial line and the article attached to it. Now this is just about done. I've added thumbnails everywhere. I've added a lot of detail on each of these events. But there's one thing that I recently discovered that I wanted to add, and that's what I'm going to focus on down here. So down here we have Swift Music Video References case. I recently found out her latest music video references winning this case by having a dollar bill very briefly in the music video. Now I've already uploaded a thumbnail, but let's say I want to go to the source and upload the original video. Up here I'm going to go to Add Media. In this case, this is a publicly available video on YouTube. So I've already gone there. I'm just going to grab this link up here. I'm going to throw it, copy paste, I'm just going command C, command V, throw it in here, hit save changes. And now if I go back to this, you can see that the video is now part of this. So if I go to more and view it as a tile here, if you were presenting this, it's going to show up in, by this play button over here on this tab. And if I click on it, I can just pull it up and start playing it. So that's a really quick way to add any publicly available video on YouTube quickly into trial line. It's just immediately available attached to that event. Well, the music video is helpful to have in here. The dollar bill is really visible for just a short amount of time, and I don't really expect people to go through the video and look for that themselves. So I'm going to add an image that shows them where it is so they can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go back to add media. And this is how you can add any sort of file onto an event, is this box right here. Now I could either drag and drop them in here, or I can go to select files, which I prefer to do because I just like to navigate straight to it. In this case, I've already navigated to it, so they're just available right here. Now I'm going to drag over these two images, hit open, and they're going to upload. I'll hit save changes down here to make sure that that all stays in there. And now if I was to go in and present this in the attached files here in this folder, you can see these two images. I can click on them, pull them up in full resolution. Right here you can see the dollar bill. You can also uh, upload video if you want to, but it can be very useful if you wanted to say upload a clip of a deposition or any sort of file that isn't public that you have access to. So I'm going to go back to here and grab this video I made earlier. Now I really wanted to make sure that no one missed that dollar bill, so what I created was a video that zooms in on it. Just take a few seconds to upload. Again, I'm going to go hit Save Changes. Now something you might notice are these icons here. This shows you comments, and this paperclip here shows you the number of files attached. Now I can click right on that. It'll take me straight to the files that are attached to this event. Now I can just click on this. It'll show up and I can just play the video that I uploaded. There's that zoom in. And now no one can possibly miss this evidence that I'm talking about. You can use this to upload more than just images and video. You can put in all sorts of documents. You may have pieces of your client's medical records or anything that's relevant to this particular event that you want to upload, and all of those files are just going to be there, easy for you to grab in an organized way because it'll just be attached within the timeline itself you can just quickly access the relevant information. The beauty of this as well is that you'll be able to share these files if you're sharing the trial line with anyone else. And if you're using trial line to present in trial, you'll be able to quickly access these things to show the jury. That's all you need to know to be able to upload files into trial line. Thanks for watching.